Kyle Klingman with Track Wrestling alongside Andy Hamilton. We will break down all of the state wrestling championships that were on the Track Wrestling platform. And we're going to start with Oklahoma. We'll mention 4A Tuttle won in the finals 59-12, only dropped four individual matches in three duels. Combined team score this year of 206-12, last year 209-0. But as we go out to Delaware, a little bit different story. Yeah, completely opposite end of the spectrum. Smyrna Milford Sr. come down to the wire. The last match, the last match goes into overtime. Bryce Mullen scores a takedown in OT to win it for Smyrna at 152 pounds. They're the Division I champions. Can't say enough about the Georgia fans. We're going to talk individual state wrestling championships. Hard to believe that Georgia has seven classes, but they do. And some great team races Two state team titles determined by five or fewer points. Yeah, and 1A, Commerce Edge Tryon by one and a half. 3A, Sonoraville beat North Hall by five points. So those were hotly contested team races. Not quite as uh, close in 5A. There's a lot of anticipation about the 5A race, some top, top teams in, in 5A in Georgia. But Woodland Cartersville kind of ran away with that one. The three champions, three guys who've been... On, our, on the national radar this year, Caleb Henson, Caden McCrary, Jackson Smith, all won individual titles for Woodland Cartersville. Caleb Henson was ranked number nine in the country. He had his hands full, though, in the finals. He had to go to overtime, got a stall call in the final minute of the third period to force OT, then got a takedown and transitioned into a fall, pinned Francis Morrissey of veterans. One of the most dramatic matches that we saw all weekend. And then one of the stories we talked about in our pre preview show, Drew Eller came in and had an outstanding record, but you have to go way back to tell his story. I'll let you fill us in on what happened there. Yeah, a young man when he was, uh, I think, three years old, overcame cancer, started wrestling a couple years after that, and what an incredible high school career he's had. 208-0, and zero, caps it by going uh, tech fall, tech fall, 24 second pin and tech fall in the finals to wrap up his career in Georgia. Alabama had a couple cool stories out of there. We had national number 10 Corey Land win his third state championship. Two pins and two techs, but it doesn't get better than this guy. Jackson Bass was down by seven, hits a headlock in the third period, gets a fall, and then he does what? He nailed the cartwheel. Let's start with that. He nailed the cartwheel. Lots of points for the cartwheel. Then I'm not quite sure what he did. <laughs> We're going to put that highlight up. Backflip, maybe? Backflip, maybe. And, and my theory is that he watched the Gable Stevenson clip that we posted last week. And Gable Stevenson did a beautiful backflip. And maybe he was trying to imitate that. And it just looked like he was having a lot of fun. So very good job there. Yeah, a lot of points Jackson for the Bass. headlock. A lot of points for the cartwheel. We'll let uh, other people judge the backflip. Arizona Sunnyside won the D2 title with 277 and a half points to win by more than 100 points. Eight finalists and six champs, but the University of Iowa is getting a special recruit. Jesse Ibarra rolled through the tournament to win his third state team championship, and the Hawkeye faithful will be happy with what they're getting out of him. Yeah, absolutely. A guy that's uh, super tough to score on, but he showed off a lot of offense this past weekend. Went pin, pin, pin. And then a 16-3 major in the finals to win his third individual state title. And for Sunnyside, it was their 33rd as a team. Montana had an interesting 126-pound bracket. Cooper Birdwell won his third state title with a 15-2 major decision against Jake Bibbler, who was going for his fourth state championship. And then Iowa recruit Leif Schroeder won his fourth state championship and we're talking about a lot of Iowa recruits here but they've got a nice haul coming in yeah absolutely those two guys that we just mentioned Abara and Schroeder but uh, also we're going to be talking about more in the weeks to come Colin Shriver his brother Colby uh, going to be wrestling the Iowa State championships here this coming week uh, then also uh, down the road Patrick Kennedy number one 182 pounder in the country another uh, Iowa recruit so exceptional haul that uh, Tom Brands, Ryan Morningstar, Terry Brands and company have put together for their 2020 class. And then Sydney Fairview won the title with 340 points, 15 state medalists and seven champs and then Louisiana Brother Martin won its 20th state title, seventh in eight years. 
Kentucky. Union County won its fifth consecutive state title, crushed the tournament scoring record, racking up 299 points with nine finalists and six champs. And then Nevada Green Valley, seventh title in nine seasons. That's what happened, and we're coming up on the absolute biggest weekend of the year for the track wrestling platform. Yeah, before we get to next week, we got a story to tell about Green Valley, Nevada. David Caliana Propruitt, 138-pounder, a month ago thought his season was over, dislocated his elbow. Green Valley left him off the postseason scoring lineup. He was able to enter as a non-point scorer. You can do that out in Nevada and winds up winning the state title. And so Green Valley comes away with a, the team state championship. They're seventh in nine years. And then exceptional story at 138 pounds. We got a chance to talk to Green Valley coach John Ferry before we came on the air, and he said it's the second time that he can recall in state her- history that a non-point scorer went on and won a state title. So congratulations to David Caliana Propruitt. And if you thought there was great wrestling action, great storylines, imagine what you're going to get coming up this week. We have 15 states, 17 different state championships. You have Colorado, Indiana, Oregon, Missouri, Tennessee, North Carolina. You have Iowa, traditional and dual. North Dakota, traditional and dual. Illinois, Texas, Virginia, Nebraska, New Mexico, Washington, Arkansas. This is my first year going through this kind of weekend. You've been through it before. It's got to be a lot of fun. That's the best weekend of the year, in my opinion. It's at least the most fun because you got all this going. The college season is ramping up. you got postseason coming up for uh, Division Two, Division Three. It's the last weekend of the Division One duels, and the anticipation's building. We will have a preview show coming up. Make sure you watch that. But it's been great to recap this past weekend of state championship action. Tune in next time.